This is Bob Rakes with highlights of issue 105 of the 8K Association Monitor Newsletter. I had the privilege of attending the SID Display Week in San Jose this year, as I have done every year since 1994. Uh, it's a real privilege to meet the scientists and engineers that invent, design, engineer, and produce the materials and displays that we all get to use every day. Going to Display Week also means you get to see technologies that will shape the future when they're just out of the lab. This year, there were particularly impressive displays from Chinese display makers BOE and TCL CSOT. BOE showed a couple of 16K displays, one at 110 inch and one at 32 inch, that were showing 3D. CSOT, also known as China Star, showed an 8K 16 inch notebook panel that I couldn't see the dot on, no matter how close I got. CSOT also had impressive 8K displays that achieved the energy consumption of the 4K panels from other makers. That'll help quite a few TV set makers. Anyway, we've highlighted what we saw at the event in an article on the website. One of the papers presented at this year's Display Week Symposium was particularly interesting to us. Sony's semiconductor business presented a paper that explained that the firm has developed a native 8K LCOS panel with a pitch of 2.6 microns that could be used in a projector. Up to now, as far as we know, nobody's had an 8K imager available with 8K projectors using pixel shifting mechanisms to allow a 4K imager to create an 8K image. This is more complicated than would be ideal. However, simply making larger devices makes the optics more difficult as well as adding a lot of cost. So Sony had to make really tiny pixels. Just to give a sense of scale, the pixels on the Sony device are as small as the smallest grains of pollen, according to Wikipedia anyway. At the moment, we haven't heard that a projector has been developed that'll use the chip, but we're watching closely for such a development. One group of people that really loves the latest 8K and above display panels are the makers of 3D displays. When you make 3D displays, you need extra pixels to give the additional images for each eye. So 8K above is always really useful. There were quite a few makers of these displays at the SID Display Week this year. Apple's Vision Pro is re-triggering interest in 3D, as we've seen, for example, with the work on 3D cameras being done by Canon. In an article on our Discover 8K consumer website, we give a bit of background to the challenges in creating good 3D displays and why 8K is really important in this application. This is Bob Rakes for issue 105 of the 8K Association Monitor Newsletter.